Welcome back to MacBook Lessons, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today, we're going to talk about iBooks Author and how we add chapters, sections, and pages to our book. Right now, we have a chapter, and that chapter is called Getting Started. However, I want to add another section to this chapter, which will be my first section, and this will be my introduction. I'm going to add introduction right here. And you'll notice it changed the title over here as well. Now, if I go up to my table of contents, I can actually see I have a getting started, chapter one, and I have my introduction on page two. Now let's come down. We're going to add another chapter. And you'll notice that I have a variety of chapters I can add. We're going to take this one right here. And I've added the chapter, but you know what? I don't want the blue and green next to each other, so I'm actually going to change that and make it orange. So all I do is come over and click on this down, down arrow and click on orange, and it'll actually change the layout of my chapter. Within that chapter, I want to add a section. And so now I have my second section. This was the first one. Now I have my second one in the second chapter. So we're going to call this one um, Intro Media. Actually, let's call it Book Layout. And we're going to change this to be Layout. So under that section, I want to add a page. So I'm going to come down here and add a page. And you'll notice I now have a chapter. This is just the cover page for that chapter. Then I have this section and an additional page in that section. Again, I can come up to Table of Contents, and I can see that Chapter 1 still looks the same. But down here, I can actually scroll, and let's move the screen down a bit. I can actually move it to Chapter 2. And you'll see I have my layout, and again, I have my untitled section right here, which did not fix itself. Let's type it in. So remember, we can type it in multiple places. Sometimes it shows up, and sometimes it doesn't. So let's go back to Table of Contents, and we can see Chapter 2, we have the book layout. And again, this page does not have a title to it. We don't want to add our individual pages to the Table of Contents, just the headings. So now we have Page 2 right here in our Table of Contents. So this is a very brief overview of how you add pages. I do want to show you up here under View. You can actually change what the pages look like to be in an outline format to make it a little bit clearer. And you can come over here and click this arrow, and you can actually make it a little bit cleaner. If you're working on a chapter farther down, you may not be able to reach it right here. So you can quickly shut all the chapters so that you can get to the chapter you want. We can also show our chapters up here just so we have a quick view. If you have quite a few of them, it may be a little bit easier to view them in this format so that you know when you come up here to Pages which one you want to add. We're going to go back to page thumbnails, and now we see our pages again. I can release them down again just to see what all is involved in each chapter. It's a very fun way to, I'm going to hide layouts. It's a fun way to view your book and, and see it as, as it grows.